Well, I thought this was an extremely big win for our team uh, against a very, very good opponent that had played some really good football this, this year. I was very worried coming to the game because I know how explosive they were. And they played some really good defense as well. Uh, so for our guys to respond uh, the way they did after a, a tough loss last week against a really good team, uh, uh, you know, we've had some proud moments. This might be the most proud I've been of our team. I thought they showed great grit. Uh, they played to the end. We were able to improve on some things on offense we wanted to work at and do a couple of new things, uh, wrinkles that, that helped us. Uh, defense we gave up some plays in the first half. It wasn't our best game. We, ad we adjusted some things and focused more on the running back and less on the quarterback running the ball. And because of that, uh, it limited their plays. And then, of course, you know, once we, we got the lead there, uh, I don't know if it was early for the fourth quarter or, or, or third quarter, we knew they were going to throw the ball more than they wanted, and, and that's not their, their – their game. Uh, so, like I said, very proud of our team. I thought it was a huge win to come in this environment against uh, with this crowd and, and, and pull out a victory. And uh, you know, it really feels good right now. Just the defense. I mean, they seemed to go through you pretty fast that first half. Just what they what they took ownership in this game in the second half, and you know, created turnovers and also really limited their offense. Well, fortunately, I think this game on offense because we were able to, to run the ball, and uh, I didn't. Finally, did a better job of, of committing to the run and making sure that you know we were going to do that regardless, and uh, it helped us you know get some yards, uh, take some pressure off the passing game, control the clock, control the ball. Uh, they they hit some big plays in the first half, yes, some long long ones, and we had to adjust. So we, we did make adjustments at halftime. We talked about it right before the half. We knew that uh, some things uh, that we were doing going in was not working. Uh, fortunately, we've got a great staff and. Uh, is hey, we're just going to do this regardless. We're, we're going to adjust, and uh, we did. So I think the combination of making those adjustments, um, our offense, you know, playing well there at the beginning of the of the uh, second half, getting a lead, now allowed us to do what we do well, and that's you know, kind of rush the passer, get interceptions, uh, and they did a good job of you know making big plays with that. What do you think of Xander Horvath? Well, I think with Xander, you know. Very similar to David Bell, you know, Xander came back as fast as he could uh, from having surgery on his leg. It wasn't one of those things where he wanted to make sure he was a thousand and twenty percent. You know what? He practiced just a little bit this week, and he went out there and played. So uh, it's a testament to his character, his toughness, uh, his grit, and uh, you know his ability to be a great teammate and, and want to go out there and just help his team win. And they do whatever we ask him to do. We didn't want to wear him out and give him too much, but we gave him enough to get back in the flow and uh, you know, have him check on things. But I think he probably came out of it okay. And uh, it was great to see him back on the field. He helps us. How much did his presence, but also the ability to use Jackson Anther more as a running back today, you know, allow you to commit to the run a little bit more? Well, yeah, yeah those things help. <laughs> uh, so when you have more, more options back there, it, it, it'll help us. And with Jackson, we wanted to kind of spread the field a little bit and allow him to run with a little more room uh, because he's got some shiftiness to him. And I think that helped him you know, do a really good job. Uh, and he did a good job every receiver for us. Uh, you know, he caught a ball in the backfield for a touchdown. So we were able to hand it to him and throw it to him. Um, you know, King ran hard and then you know, Xander's a big, tough physical runner that even when there's not yards there, tends to get a few extra, which is crucial. It really is, it's crucial to an offense. Uh, so the combination of getting more guys uh, going there Helped us without question, and um, you know, we got to continue to build on that. Just what was uh, kind of your thought process there at the end of the first half, going for it on fourth and short at midfield? I mean, I, I know you want to come out swinging, but kind of walk us through what you were thinking at that point. Well, we've been running the ball with some success. You know, I know our strength isn't running the ball when they know we are, uh, but at the same time, it was a half yard. We had a lead blocker. Uh, we repped this run a hundred times. I thought we could, you know, get a half yard. We, we didn't. So obviously, when it doesn't work, it's, it's a bad call. Uh, I knew there wasn't much time left on the clock either, so they would have had to really execute at a high level to get points. Uh, so I think that you know, we just wanted to try to get a field goal, and uh, you know, probably should have you know, run another play action like we did earlier, I guess, and uh, that would have helped us. One win from bow eligibility, Jeff. Michigan State's coming to West Lafayette next week. Just talk about where the team's at right now, what you think? 
Well, here's where our team's at, and I think they do a good job of it. We, uh, it's a one-game season. We've got a great schedule. We play great opponents. This is a great conference. In order for us to win, we've got to practice as hard as we can, identify our weaknesses, deficiencies, work hard to improve upon them, and then go out there and swing in on, on Saturday. You know what, some, some days it works, some days it doesn't. But I, I do think our guys uh, give us everything they have. Um, they have a mentality of, and we talked about it all week, of let's, let's get everything we got and don't let up. Don't worry about anything else. And I think our guys did that. And uh, that's how you got to win football games, is you have to give everything you got. Everybody on the field, every coach, every player. you got to be man enough to look in the mirror when, when we make mistakes and we lose and man up. And uh, you got to come out the next week and, even though you may not be super confident, you got to get it back going. You got to get your mojo going, and, and uh, you know, otherwise, you're not going to win. So I think our guys did that. So that's why I'm, I'm very proud of them. Um, it's, a, it's a huge win for us to come here and, and get this victory. Uh, and now we're on to you know, another great moment. Time for a couple more. Did you call passing plays to get players other than David involved with Milton and, and Jackson and some other guys to kind of spread spread that around a little bit and take take some pressure? Off, off David, or is that O'Connell just running through his progression? Well, I think that uh, they were keen on David early, and, and we could tell that. Uh, there are certain sets we can get in where they're easier to do that, and there's others when we spread the field. They can, but it's, a, it's, it's more visible for our quarterback. So he knows when that happens, we're going to the other guys, uh, and that's what he did. And, uh, you know, so I think we used a combination of some two-back runs to kind of get a few yards, but then get that play action where we know we can throw it to David. And then, of course, when we spread the field, we want to kind of you know, spread them out and, and uh, allow guys to get open. And uh, you know, we've got other good receivers. So I think Aiden did a good job of spreading the wealth around and not forcing it to David. And uh, it was, you know, showed a lot of poise. It was just a really good effort by our team. Last are, one for Coach. Are, are you concerned about your kicking, Jeff? <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm always concerned about everything. And yes, yes, I'm concerned about our kicking. I, I just think. Uh, Mitchell's lost some confidence. You know, he's really just not swinging through the ball and popping that thing in the meat of his foot. And, uh, you know, it's hurting us. You know, we, we, need, we need those points. And, and he can do it. You know, he does it in practice. And uh, as we all know, uh, you can lose your confidence. And uh, that's the biggest part of it is anything else. He has the ability. He's shown it. You just got to get his mojo put back on. And that, uh, you know what? It's not super easy to do. You, you think that it is, but it's not. You got to just believe in yourself. You got to get others encouraging you. You got to, you know, take the field uh, uh, with a, uh, a persona that you know, I'm the best daggone kicker in, in the country, and I'm going to go show it. And, uh, so I just think he needs to get that back going. And uh, you know, we were a little better at protection. I, I think the execution uh, was good. We just missed the kick or kicks. I don't know if we missed more than one. Two. We missed two kicks. So uh, you know, he, he can do better than that. He knows. Thank you, Coach.